Well, I've got Matthew Ingram from Toronto on the line from GlobeTechnology.com. I want to talk about botnet attacks today. How are you doing, Matthew? Good, Mike. How about you? Great, thanks. Thanks for joining us. A um, recent wave of uh, distributed denial of service attacks against some pretty major sites uh, over the past uh, few months, including Amazon and even Yahoo. But uh, I hear there's word that uh, there's even more on the horizon. Well, I think it's, it's something that's really been increasing. Um, there are just so many sophisticated uh, hackers out there who can take control of literally um, millions in some cases of computers and construct these botnets and uh, I think the we're really seeing the the, the rise of a, a new form of uh, extortion if you will where these uh, botnet hackers send email to particularly uh, online gambling sites or large e-commerce sites um, sites that pretty much have to be up all the time um, and they send emails saying, you know, we basically have uh, hundreds of thousands of computers. We're prepared to attack your site uh, with a denial of service, and you better cough up. Um, this has been happening, I guess, for probably the last three, four years at least, but it, it seems to be increasing. And uh, just earlier um, this month, we saw quite a large uh, denial of service attack that uh, went after the, the 13 root servers um, that run the DNS uh, domain system and I think we're seeing more and more sort of shows of force um, obviously we don't know why uh, whoever it was attacked these domain servers but one theory is it was a sort of show of strength um, so that then when they email somebody they can say you know that denial of service that was us and we're gonna go after your site we're gonna bring it down and your business will effectively be uh, you know be strangled well, a lot of people don't realize that they may be playing a part in these attacks. Their machines might have been compromised by these hackers. Right. In fact, one of the uh, security experts that, that I uh, was reading, a comment he made in, in a news story, he said, you know, you may be part of the problem uh, because your computer, without your knowledge, could easily be part of one of these botnets. And that's, that's the sort of insidious thing. There's no easy way for people to know um, whether their computer's been compromised. 90% of the, the computers or 99% of the computers in these botnets are what are called zombies. They're, they're literally computers that have been hijacked without the person knowing. It it's almost uh, looks like it's going from more than just hackers now. I hear word that, I mean, organized crime is involved in some of this as well. Well, and I think any time you get sort of large sums of money, um, organized crime is going to be interested. And there's certainly suspicion that some of these attacks, particularly on the large e-commerce sites, are probably driven in some way by organized crime. Do you see any hope on the horizon? I mean, we're going to always be uh, prone to this? I think we probably will just because of the way the Internet operates. Um, but I think the more people get educated about how a botnet works, the more they get educated about um, you know, how spyware and, and malware gets onto your computer, a lot of times it's people clicking on things they shouldn't. A lot of times it's people who have uh, ports open or their router or whatever isn't configured properly. The more education that's done on that end and the more that ISPs pay attention to huge traffic spikes, for example, coming from certain parts of their network, then I think you know more attention creates more um, awareness. People start doing things that they should in order to make it harder for their systems to be hijacked. So bottom line, people should make sure that they're taking their internet security uh, seriously because they could be helping bring the internet down. Right, exactly. And it's just like viruses or anything else. You have to sort of educate yourself or, or prepare to be educated uh, about how to stop these things, prevent them from happening. Well, thank you very much, Matthew, for joining us. Okay, thanks, Mike. That was Matthew Ingram from GlobeTechnology.com. You can check out uh, his blog and all his articles uh, online. Thank <laughs> you.